Greetings, this is Brandon with Primarily Pens. Today I have an Urso Babel Pen. This is a solid sterling silver limited edition of 91 pens. Now 91 corresponds to the believed height in meters of the Tower of Babel. The Tower of Babel is an origin myth meant to explain why the world's people speak different languages. According to the story, a united human race, following the, the Great Flood, uh, was speaking a single language and they agreed to build a city uh, and a tower to avoid a second flood. God, observing their city and tower, brought into existence multiple languages so that they could no longer understand each other. Thus, humans were divided into linguistic groups and they scattered around the world. Uh, mo some modern scholars have associated the Tower of Babel with known structures, notably the Etimnaki. Etimnaki was a ziggurat dedicated to Marduk in the ancient city of Babylon, and Marduk was a god from ancient Mesopotamia and patron deity of the city of Babylon. Now, going back to the pen, this is a very heavy pen. It's a, a quite, quite uh, large diameter pen, uh, and it comes in at 107 grams, so a so very, very, very hefty pen. Uh, doing the walkthrough, at the very top, uh, we have the Urso logo. Uh, the clip is uh, nicely detailed. Uh, it, it's not spring-loaded or anything, but it's, it's a very detailed clip, which I really appreciate. Uh, that's an image of the Babylonian Hammurabi, uh, who wrote the Hammurabi Code, which is, I think, basically the very first written set of laws of any civilization. Uh, the rest of the cap actually is a depiction of the Tower of Babel, and it has a very nice feel to it and a lot of detail with, with that, those structures. Uh, the main barrel uh, has the word Babel written in many different languages, um, and you can see that it's actually a very deeply cut metal, um, which I think why it needed to be such a thick, thick barrel section. Um, now the the background it looks you know that that's darkness is actually a very heavily patinaed metal, uh, which I think is, is quite lovely. Now there are color there are variations of this pen each in in series of ninety one. Uh, one is uh, basically has a combination of bronze and silver. Um, others actually have basically have this this these spaces in the main barrel filled with an enamel. Um, uh, various colors I think are available. I personally prefer this this very simple uh, non enameled version with just a very heavily patinaed background, and because I really like the again the, the tactile sensation of that. Now this ring here, you actually have a number of hallmarks. Uh, you have the uh, sterling silver hallmark there. Uh, you have the number of the pen, the pen series twenty nine of ninety one, and then you have uh, basically the the made in in Italy stamp there. Actually, this says handmade in Italy. Uh, below that is a ring of, of lions, and that's because the walls of Babylon apparently had a number of these images of lions scattered throughout the walls. So uh, the very, very bottom of the pen is just a, a smooth, smooth metal, um, both of the ends kind of thing. Now that's basically because uh, this pen does post, and does post actually quite snugly and quite nicely. Um, it's a very heavy pen, and it's actually pretty well balanced in that that configured and posted position. Um, but it's heavy enough that probably better just not to have it posted. But but it, again, it's it's quite usable if it is. Now, the grip section, you can see this is actually a rollerball. Uh, the pen does come in found pen. If it is a found pen, it comes with a very nice 18 karat gold nib. Um, now you can see this is a straight, smooth grip section. And uh, based on the weight and, and just the, the, it's fairly narrow, it is too slippery. Um, I don't get a good grip on it. Now, I, I've seen pictures uh, on Urso's webpage of this pen that actually shows a, a very a slightly concave grip section. And I have another pen that I'll do a review of eventually that also has that concave grip section. It makes a world of difference. Um, uh, uh, well, this one is, is, is too slippery. To, to use very well. Uh, but with the slight concave, it is, I have no issue whatsoever. It, it just fits really nicely. The other thing to, to look at too is that there's a very large step up between this, this great straight section and then the main barrel. And I find it being actually a little bit too abrupt. Uh, but for, for whatever reason though, the concave section, even though it probably makes the, the, the very center section maybe a little bit, a little bit even narrower, uh, it doesn't feel as abrupt and it's just a lot more comfortable in the hand. 
Uh, my assumption is, is this is just an earlier version of the pen, and so they, they switched to that concave grip section, which was a very good choice. It, 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 and it works much, much, much better. Now, if it is a, a, a found pen version, it, it is a cartridge converter um, filling system. Um, but again, overall, uh, very, very lovely design. Um, I, I really appreciate the, the detailed clip, uh, the, the tactile situation. Again, uh, silver is just a very nice material. I, I really enjoy silver. Um, and the, this, this contrast of the heavily patinaed background with the, the raised letters is again, very, very nice, both from a, a, a tactile sensation perspective and just from a, from a very nice look. So at this point, we'll go ahead and take a look at the packaging material. Okay, so we have a cardboard hour box with the Urso logo, luxury pens. Open it up. Oh, we have protective cloth that covers up a, a another Urso logo on a very rich uh, wood box and, and quite quite large. Uh, open that up. Uh, the first thing you notice is this uh, image of the Tower of Babel and. That, of course, is what they are trying to achieve uh, in the, the cap design, which I think that they did a very good job of. Now, the, the rest of the box, you have the, the name of the, the pen series and the pen number. The center section lifts up, and it, it, it just hinges up. Uh, you have a pamphlet that has the, again, the, the pen number in there, some basic information, a pen sleeve, a basically a registration card, um, a polishing cloth with the Urso logo on it, and since this one happened to be a roller ball, of course, has a, a pen refill on there. Again, very very nice uh, box. Again, uh, uh, boxes I don't buy a pen for for the box, but it is a nice touch, especially for for for, for pricier pens. Um, I think having the image of the Tower of Babel is is a nice touch. I think that they did a very good job of it. So so there you have it. Again the the Urso Babel, great clip, nice cap with the image, you know, mimicking the, the image of that Tower of Babel. Um, I really like the, the tactile sensation, again, of this very, very deeply cut um, uh, words, uh, Babel words in different languages with the heavy patina in the, as a background. Uh, again, the limitation of the uh, straight section. I think it's been rectified by having the curved section and again it makes it very very comfortable to write with in with using the curved grip section. So again there you have it the Urso Babel. Please leave comments below, take a look at my other reviews, and subscribe to Primarily Pens. I'll have additional reviews soon.